Hey guys, I'm going to walk you through how to validate your HTML and CSS along with a few examples of how to interpret and fix errors that the validators find. Sometimes it can be a little difficult to understand what they're trying to tell you, so um, we're going to try to go through step by step and fix a couple of documents. Um, first, I wanted to show you that we have the validator links in our Blackboard course under course resources in the sidebar. Uh, if you click on that, you can open the HTML validator. Um, over here, I've got a messy little uh, HTML document that I'm going to paste in here. So you can check by um, address. You can actually, if you've already uploaded your website somewhere, you can check um, if it's valid by typing in the URL. You can also upload your file or you can use text input. I find that if I'm already working on a document, it's pretty easy to just, you know, do a command all or control A and um, paste everything in here pretty quickly. So I'm going to press check and I scroll down and see that I have 10 errors. Um, I recommend just starting one by one from the top. So the first one here is start tag seen without seeing a doc type first, expected doc type HTML. Uh, this tells me that it is expecting my doc type at the very top of this document. So I'm going to add that, check again, and see that I now have nine errors. The next one is element head is missing a required instance of the child element title. This is telling me that every website needs to have a title tag inside of the head tag at the top of our document. I see that I have a title tag here, but it's outside of my head tag. If you also notice, uh, error number four is related to this as well. So we have element title not allowed as child of element body in this context. So it's basically telling us we need to move this up into our head. So I'll check again. So I'm checking again and I see that I still have the same error. Um, I believe this has something to do with the fact that there's an H1 inside of this head tag which shouldn't be there. H1 should only be inside your body tag. So I'm going to move that down and just see what happens. All right, now we only have four errors. So fixing that those two things, moving the title tag into the head and removing the H1 from the head area, or the head element, uh, has brought us from nine to four errors. So you can see how quickly you might be able to fix what looks like a daunting list of errors just by moving around a couple of elements or fixing a few typos. So end tag H1 seen, but there are open elements from line 10, column 31. So I'm going to actually copy this back into my editor because it has line numbers and see that line 10 is this H2 actually ended with an H1. So if we fix that, copy it back in and check, we now have three errors. The next error is on line 19. So we see this P here. Um, as you all should know at this point, paragraph tags should not be wrapped around any lists. So we'll just take that out. And while I'm at it, I can see that there's an H2 here that needs to be closed with an H2, not an H1. All right, just one more. So line 28, same issue. And we'll check, and now we've got the green bar here. Before you turn in your assignments, um, please make sure that you are getting this green bar here. Uh, I get a lot of assignments that come in that aren't validated when I check them, and I don't know if that means that you tried to validate your file and couldn't you know, get rid of all the errors, or if you never even tried. To me, it looks like the same thing, um, and then Unless you leave me a note, I have no idea if you, you know, attempted to do that or not. So 
the only way that I know that you validated your file or attempted to validate your file is by when I check your file, I see this green bar on um, the validator. Uh, and next I'll walk you through a CSS document. So I have one open here in my editor. I'm gonna go back to our course to open that CSS validator link. Uh, this one opens a little warning telling me that we're leaving Blackboard, so just click that link again. All right. So this page has a bunch of tabs that work the same way as that dropdown did in our HTML edit or validator. So we go to the by direct input, and this allows us to paste our CSS right in there. So checking this one, I see that I have eight errors. This um, first column shows the line numbers. Uh, the second column shows what element um, the rules are in. All right, so value error, font size, attempt to find a semicolon before the property name, add it. So I'll go to line 17. And it's basically telling me here that there should be a semicolon closing the previous rule before this one's opened. So I can see that I have one missing there and one missing there. So I'll copy this, paste it back in. See, so we have a few less errors now. Uh, line 29, property border width doesn't exist. So you can see there that we have a typo and it should be width. Value error border style italic is not a border style value. Um, when something says it's not a value, it means that there are only a certain set of um, valid values that can be in that property. So the border style um, would be things like solid, dashed, so I'll find that here, change it to solid, let's see how many we have left. All right, so in that same rule, value error padding can, padding only zero can be a unit. Um, <laughs> sometimes these things don't really make sense. Um, you must put a unit after your number. So I see here that it just says 25. When it says that you have to have a unit, it means something like pixels, M's, uh, percentage, something like that. All right, so we have property background image doesn't exist. Um, if we look at this closely, we see that the C and the K have been flipped around. And so I'll go back in there and do this again. All right, so background image URL is not a background image value. This one could be a little tricky, but the problem here is that there is a space between URL and the parentheses and the value in there. So I'll take out that space and check again. And we're down to one more. Um, background position, middle is not recognized. So for background position, you can have left, right, bottom, um, or center, or top. Um, you can't have middle, which is used in some other places, so it can get a bit confusing. Um, that's why some text editors have this little pop-up that shows you what values you, know, you can use at, for that property, um, which is really helpful. Uh, you can also use numbers um, with units for the background position. So we'll change that to center. Put this back in here. And we have zero errors now. Um, so I hope that helps you see that um, when you're validating, um, some of the important things to look at are the line numbers. Um, 
double checking your syntax. So for example, that background image, um, seeing that there shouldn't be a space between URL and uh, the parentheses. It's something you might need to look up, you know, in your book if you're having trouble figuring it out or, you know, email us if you're having too much trouble and you can't quite figure it out. I also want to remind you that if you start validating your HTML and CSS after you've been working on your files for quite a while and you see a whole bunch of errors, um, I just don't want you to freak out right away. As you saw when we were fixing our HTML document, when we fixed a couple of errors, it actually fixed, you know, four or five errors at once, um, bringing our, our count of errors down pretty quickly. So if you have a lot, you know, just fixing one or two things could possibly fix all of the errors on your page. I also want to mention that if you don't understand one error, it might be better to skip to the next one that you do understand. Uh, it could possibly fix something that you don't understand and you don't have to worry about in the first place. So um, if you're getting stuck too, maybe just go down the list and fix the things that you do understand how to fix. And if you get through and it's still invalid, that's when you can email us and ask us for um, some guidance on how to fix the errors. As you fix issues in the validator, I would repaste your code over and over again and just double check that what you fixed then, you know, fixed the error that you were trying to fix and also that it didn't fix all of them. So if you just keep trying to figure out the same errors, but you know, you've already fixed them all, um, you're just wasting a little time. So, you know, make sure you check your file multiple times as you're fixing it. So I hope that helps. Uh, and if you guys have any questions or run into issues when you're validating your files, you know, later on in the semester, just email us or post to the discussion board. Bye.